So this really, I say, is, is a delicate situation now to see how sports can be in, in future. Because now, if we look at America now, so they are like they are losing. Look at Great Britain; they have been dominating for many years. But for the first few years, so there is no people from England. So this was, you know, the ambition is getting more scientific, is getting better. But way of building in the grassroots. So that's what we are losing. So this, I think, so we have to go back again to drop out, say where we went wrong. We have to correct it now, and then build it again. Was it easy for you to migrate to Denmark and to start a new life there? No, it was not an easy thing, but uh, I migrated to Denmark not because of running, because this is what I say, and I made my decision that I, knowing that I was going to miss uh, Olympic in uh, 96. But this was based on my own thinking about my long term future life. If I want to live in Europe, to have a good life, and then to have a change. So it was not about anyway, my running, because if I say even if I don't become a world champion or world star, I live in Denmark, so that's what I decide. So that's going to be my new country, my new home. Of course, I know I still have a title there, my home country, my native country. So in that case, so I made my decision, basing on that, to say, you know, I didn't want to do it there, because you can get married, get papers, in two, three months, or maybe in three years, but I had, I choose to choose the, the long way. I had to wait for seven years in Denmark to get my passport and all this. So to go the right way with the rules, to apply, it takes seven years. Okay, I wait seven years, and, uh, and that's why it took a little bit longer. So it was kind of a sacrifice because of what I want, not because of what I wanted to. It could be easy because Kenya in. Uh, 96, so they say, okay, if I'm going to run for Kenya, so I could run for Kenya in Olympic. But this also could ruin my future, or my plans, or my ambition, what I want to do, because Kenya, to Tenma could say, okay, so if that's what you want, okay. So I have to start again from zero to wait another seven years. So this I have to sacrifice Olympic, so I can get what I want. Have you maintained the ties with your family in Kenya? No, I go to Kenya every year. So since then, I moved to Denmark. So once a year, I'm going uh, back to see my family and uh, also my friends. Because I mean, you know, it's not about um, changing the country, but it was changing way of life to make a better life for myself and my family. So this was like anyway, kind of going to work or moving to another place because looking for the opportunities. So job-wise, education-wise, security-wise. So in that case, I say, you know, if I go there, even if I'm not earning a lot of money, I get a simple job. So it's still better money to help my family and uh, myself. Is life difficult in Kenya? Life is difficult in Kenya. But I mean, if you look at also in Europe, I think it's, it's more difficult in Europe than that time what I thought. You know, I thought it was too easy. But uh, the thing is not easy because in Kenya it's much easier because you know your parents have a, a plot, so it's like you can have a place to live. If your parents have something to eat, you can have also something to eat. But then when you go to Europe, you know if you have no job, if you have no parents, even if you have the parents and they don't have also the job, so this could be something different because you have to pay for the electricity. Telephone, apartment, you know, food. Because in Kenya you can work for somebody, get something to eat, and you sleep. But in Europe it's a, it's a different place. Because it took me also maybe around six years to adjust, really to get the rhythm of the country, to understand the mentality, to understand the culture. So it was not that easy because it was because I thought it was could be easy, you know, to get a job, but then. You know, if you have no qualification, and then if you don't come from that country, so it's still, if we get application to the job, so they can still say, okay, you know, the people from that country, they have their mentality of work, but for me, they look at, okay, you know, you maybe you don't have background, 
it's not that experience because you know I was in the village taking care of the cows and uh, <laughs> planting maize, bananas, but also in Denmark, so you cannot plant maize, bananas. You know, it's <laughs> <laughs> so it's a different way of life, and I say it's not easy because I mean, so many athletes they think so if you go to Europe, you make money, but then if you don't run, if you run to live at the restaurants, so then it's no money. So you end up also cleaning the street or try to manual job and then you have to wake up every morning going also to job. But at least you can get lucky in a way, but this I get lucky. You know, uh, my legs took me that far away because I was trying to combine also with the electronic engineering. But also with electronics I had to, to choose between also running professionally or being in school full time and this also is you have to manage. You have to manage both. But then so I had to put hundred percent in sports and then less in in academic side. But so it comes now. Like I just I have to go back again to throw board to start again a, a different life because when I'm not running so I can see life is different. Right now you're working in what not field in Denmark. In Denmark now I work as a consultant. Anyway, so con but it's only the athletes now. But I'm trying to build up as like international consulting for the athletes, programming for them, you know, telling them where really to time. If you have to be in good shape in the right moment, if it's a world championship, because it's like anyway investment now. Sports is a is business, so it's really on to know to build your image, how to sell yourself, how to present yourself. You know, and this. Uh, Many people they think it's running is just to run, but then now it's a marketing. You have to know how to sell yourself. You have to know how to talk with the media. So this to know all the important things in sports. So this is what I'm trying to set up a company that can console the athlete to say it's not only about running and just get your shoes and throw. It's about running because also you have to contribute something back to the community because you have to show example for the young kids. It's not only about running, it's not about only kicking the ball, it's not about only swimming, but also about the respect and honest. Because uh, if you look at the world we are now, it's a lot of things. We have drugs, alcohol, also pressure, because you know, if the country is behind you, you can easily get breakdown down because you cannot handle the pressure. So this, like to prepare mentally, physically, and then also to be touched to make decisions, you know, to have principles. So this is what I'm trying to say, you know, if I set up that to help so many athletes in the world, because I see, um, I think you remember in 2000 about Marie Jose Berek. She was a champion in Atlanta, but then she couldn't handle the pressure between her and um, Cathy Freeman, because she, the pressure she, they were on Cathy Freeman. But then she could be the target because she was defending Olympic champion yeah. and she won the Olympics. So this was a, the standard she set was too high. But then to handle that was not easy. For Cathy Freeman also, she didn't run again after Sydney because the pressure was too much for her. After Sydney was like, okay, yeah. yeah. I manage it, I stop because uh, she cannot go on continuing to carry that weight again. So th there is a lot of things in uh, in sports going on. It's about the personality, discipline, and delivering the results. So sometimes it's not uh, it's not easy just to go there and to do. It's really need strong mentally and then strong background people to know to tell you what is right and to tell you what you have to deliver and to do what you can do. Not you cannot do miracles sometimes. 